welcome to Discovery Land Online. I'm Miss Michelle, and this is Miss Caitlin. If you like to play picture guessing games, wiggle your fingers in the air. Hooray, me too. Today we're gonna play a really fun picture guessing game that helps us learn our Bible story. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that God protects me. That's our big idea for today. Let's say it together. God protects me. It's true. God protects me. In fact, that's what today's memory verse is all about. Let me teach it to you. The Lord gives me strength. He is like a shield that keeps me safe. Psalm 28, 7. Let's do that together. Ready? Here we go. The Lord gives me strength. He is like a shield that keeps me safe. Psalm 28, 7. Great job, guys. It's time for worship now. So let's sing and dance and praise God. Plan for 
awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Topher the gopher. One, two, three. Digs a hole right under me. Slowly, I start sinking down until I'm sitting on the ground. Wow, nice job, you guys. I think you're ready for the Bible story. Before we get started, though, I think we need to put on our pay attention glasses in our listening ears and zip lock and button our lips. So here we go. Let's put on our pay attention glasses. Good job. Grab those listening ears and put those on to make sure they're straight, guys. They're straight. Miss Caitlin's are straight. And on three, we're going to zip, lock, and button. One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. And now let's get our hearts ready by praying. God, we love you so much. Help us to pay attention and learn from you during our story today. Amen. Amen. Like I said before, we're going to play a picture guessing game. Here's how the game works. I'm going to draw a picture, and you get to guess what it is. Maybe we should play a practice round so you can see how it works. If you think you know what I'm drawing, shout it out. What am I drawing, guys? Woo! That was fun. What do you think it is? You got it. Way to go. It's a heart. God loves you so, so much. In fact, let's give ourselves a big hug. Because God loves you, he protects you and keeps you safe. In fact, Today's true Bible story is all about three people that God protected and kept safe. If you're ready to hear today's true Bible story, clap your hands three times. We need your help getting the Bible out, though. We need to say our Bible words together. Repeat these special words after me. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. It's, it's true. true. It's true. true. The, the Bible, Bible is true. Whoa! This never gets old. I love this. Okay. Oh, I get to draw a picture. All right, let me see. I'm going to draw something here, and we'll see if you can tell me what it is. <laughs> what is it? Yes! Thank you for guessing it right. It's a statue. Good job, you guys. In the Bible, in the book of Daniel, there was a king named Nebuchadnezzar who built a big, giant gold statue. The king told everyone that they had to bow down and worship the statue. And if they didn't, it would be thrown into a very, very hot fire. Now it's my turn. <gasps> Do you guys know what this is? That's right, it's the number three. There were three men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Wow, those are some tough names. Let's try saying them one at a time. Can you say Shadrach? Shadrach. Can you say Meshach? Meshach. Can you say Abednego? Abednego. Great job. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego loved and worshipped God. They would not bow down and worship the gold statue. No, they would not. And it made this happen. Are you guys ready for my picture? Okay, here we go. Angry king, you are right. He's look at that mean and angry face. It's a mad king. And when the king heard that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wouldn't bow down and worship the statue, he was very, very mad. The king called for them and said, if you don't bow down and worship the statue, I'll throw you in a fiery furnace. My goodness. It's not good. No. Okay, so what are you drawing? It's another word. Okay. Let's see if they can guess what it is. Do you guys know what this says? They got 
it. It is. It's the word no. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego looked at the mad king and said, No, we only worship God. We will not bow down and worship the statue. So go ahead and throw us in your fire. God will protect us. That's right. Okay, so let's see how good I can do with this one. Okay, you really can't mess this one up too much. I don't hardly think, but watch me. Okay, and then we'll just add a little bit of this. And let's see what they say. All right, guys, tell me, what is this? That's right, it's a fire. You got it. Now the king was even madder. So he ordered the fire to be heated up seven times hotter than usual. The king had his strongest soldiers tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they threw them in the fire. Oh, no. Let's see if you guys can guess what I'm about to draw. I want to see this. <gasps> nice. Do you guys know what this is? Way to go. It's an angel. When the king looked into the fire, he couldn't believe what he saw. There was a fourth man in the fire who looked like an angel of God. He was protecting Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and keeping them from burning up. So the king called for them to come out of the fire. And when they did, not one hair on their head was even burnt. The king was amazed. He said, may the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. No other God can save people this way. In today's true Bible story, God protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When the king saw what happened, he praised God and said, No other God can save people this way. It's true. No one can protect us like God can. I have an idea. Let's praise God for protecting us. I want you to stay down as low and as quiet as a mouse. But when I point to you, jump up to your feet and shout, I love you, God. Are you ready? Here we go. For giving us grown-ups who keep us safe. We want to say, I love you, God. For helping us get better when we feel sick, we want to say, I love, love you, you, God. For doctors and nurses who help us stay healthy, we want to say, we I love, love you, God. God. For protecting us from danger, we want to say, I love you, God. For helping us be brave when we feel scared, we want to say, I love you, God. It's true. God protects us. He even protects us from our sins. Mm -hmm. God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross so our sins could be taken away and we could live with him forever in heaven. God loves you so much, and he protects you. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell our parents when we see them. Maybe we could practice first. Um, hmm, could we practice telling? I know who we can practice telling. We can practice telling Tover the Gopher. How yes. about that? Let's see if we can find him. Uh-oh. He's sleeping again, and I think we should wake him up. When he wakes up, we can all say, God protects us. On the count of three, let's all yell, Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. One, two, three. Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? God protects us. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye, kid. Let's all wave to Topher. Let's say a prayer together and thank God for protecting us. And repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. No one can save people. No one can save people. Like you can save people. Like you can save people. I praise you for that. I praise you for that. Amen. Amen. It's time for our blessing now. Can you hold out your hands while you listen and receive? May you remember that God is with you always and protects you. 
even in the things you cannot see.